This is Bumper to Bumper TV. What took so long? That's our response to the Subaru Crosstrek. It's a true crossover riding on a proven sedan platform combined with the active features of an SUV. The Subaru brand has a pedigree of building tough, all-wheel drive platforms capable of handling nearly any driving condition. So this was a natural step at first glance. It checks off all of the boxes for a crossover with an 8.7 inch ground clearance, nearly 51 cubic feet of cargo space when the second row seats are folded flat, and the well-known symmetrical all-wheel drivetrain. Then, to become relevant and compliant with clean air standards, why not make a hybrid? That's where they may have missed a turn. The Crosstech XV hybrid simply uses the existing 2-liter boxer engine connected with a nickel-metal hydride electric motor system. Combined, they generate a horsepower of 160 and 145 foot-pounds of torque, at least on paper. But don't look for any breakout fuel efficiency numbers. The hybrid only gets 4 miles per gallon more in city driving and no change in highway numbers compared to the gasoline-only platform. If the technical approach seems limited, remember, Toyota owns 30% of Subaru and shares technology with a smaller company. We were impressed with access to the front seat, and thanks to a weekend with the grandchildren, we also appreciated the ease of access to the second row, even with car seats. This traditionally has been a shortcoming for Subaru, which appears to have solved the problem. In day-to-day -day driving, we get a chance to test the responsiveness of the CVT transmission. This version even comes with paddle shifters to create the illusion of a six-speed gearbox. While there's enough performance to handle typical commuting and long trip conditions, don't even think about entering this in any kind of competitive situations. Bluetooth connectivity is standard, and the upscale versions can even interface with smartphones using the AHA radio app. This is a first hybrid from Subaru, and while functional, it needs a lot more engineering to compete with other gas electric vehicles. The good news is that it doesn't come with the usual hybrid price markup that can give buyers a pause before making a decision. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.